Hello students, this is topic 4. Topic 4 and the name of the topic is acceleration. Acceleration and retardation. Acceleration and retardation. Then is the kinematics mein three topics explain kar chuke hain on topics mein humne distance displacement velocity speed and instantaneous velocity and instantaneous speed clarify kiya tha hamara fourth topic kinematics ke section mein hai acceleration and retardation now we have to discuss about the acceleration due to which the velocity of a particle increases continuously so understand first that according to definition acceleration is defined as v2 minus v1 upon time taken to make this change in velocity it means acceleration is rate of change of velocity by definition it is rate of change of velocity and the same word is retardation the same will be retardation if v2 will be less than v1 if v2 is less than v1 then it is called retardation retardation and if v2 is greater than v1, it is known as acceleration. If v2 is greater than v1, it is acceleration. It means acceleration and retardation are same words, but there is a difference in these two. Agar kisi particle ki velocity time ke saath saath decrease ho rahi hai, it means usme hone wale changes are negative. In that cases, acceleration is known as retardation. For example, if a particle is moving with velocity v in a particular direction and successively its velocity decreases due to some opposing forces, let some forces are some retarding forces are working in opposite direction. Force, हम अपने अगले section में explain करेंगे. अभी बस आप force को acceleration के proportional term समझें. Newton's law of motion में हम force पर detail में पढ़ेंगे. <clears throat> and suppose some force is working in an opposite direction to velocity then we see that velocity will decrease with time for example if we throw a stone in vertically upward direction then its velocity decreases successively because gravity it is a gravitational force is working opposite to the velocity so in that case this force is called retarding force and the affiliated word retardation is associated with this retarding force so rate of change of velocity is known as acceleration or retardation it is acceleration in the case when final velocity is greater than initial velocity but it will be retardation if final velocity is less than initial velocity so acceleration retardation which of these two words we have to use depends on that final velocity is either greater than initial velocity or is less than initial velocity so if velocity of particle and force is working opposite to it, it means if acceleration, direction of acceleration is opposite to velocity, then it's called retardation. So uh, there are two cases, if velocity and force, it means acceleration, works in same direction, then the factor is known as acceleration. And for these type of diagrams, it is retardation. If you have a gravity against, this is retarding motion example. But if the top is the top of the tower, this is accelerated motion ka example. Because in this example, mein gravity and velocity are the support. But it does not depend upon direction. Suppose this is positive direction of velocity and a particle is moving opposite to it. Like this is positive direction of velocity, but particle is moving in this direction. But acceleration is also working in the same direction. Then it is not retardation, it is acceleration. Because particle is also moving in negative direction. If velocity and acceleration both are negative, then A will be acceleration of the particle. It does not depend upon the directions. Concert direction positive, concert direction negative. It is not depend on it. It depends on the fact that velocity and acceleration are relative direction. If velocity and acceleration both are negative or both are positive, then is the term A is known as acceleration. But if V and A are opposite to each other, any one of these two are along positive direction and other is along negative direction, then it is known as retardation. It means it does not depend upon plus or minus of the directions. It depends on the relative directions of V and A. If V and A both are negative, then A is acceleration. If V and A both are positive, then it is acceleration. 
if v is negative and a is positive or in other case if v is positive and a is negative in both these two cases it is known as retardation so these two are retardations and these two are the examples of acceleration if both are positive both are negative then uh, the case is associated to accelerated motion these two are the examples of accelerated motion and these two are the examples of retardation so this is acceleration and retardation now consider another thing that uh, what is known as average velocity average acceleration of a particle iske pichle discussion mein humne average velocity or average speed pe discuss kiya tha now there is a term average acceleration then what is average acceleration suppose a particle is moving along x axis with velocity 10 so in vectorial form it is 10i it means particle's velocity is 10i initially after 10 seconds let its velocity is 10j it's it is moving along j axis with velocity 10 and uh, to make this change suppose a 10 second is the duration in which the particle make these changes the particle's initial velocity is 10i and after 10 second it changes its direction along j axis it changes and its velocity is 10j in vectorial form and in 10 seconds the phenomenon occurs so acceleration average acceleration average acceleration according to definition is known as final velocity of the particle minus initial velocity of the particle divided by total time taken so it is j minus i and this j minus i if you take mod of this it is root 2 meter per second square so average acceleration of the particle is root 2 meter per second square particle is moving along x axis with velocity 10 it is 10 i and after 10 seconds its velocity is 10 j so average acceleration is 10 j minus 10 i upon 10 it is j minus i mod it is root 2 meter per second square modulus 2 so average acceleration of the particle is root 2 meter per second Square and its direction is uh, the direction of this vector minus i plus j. This vector is j minus i, and in normal form you can also write it as minus i plus j. And diagram for this will be minus i and plus j. So this is the direction of average acceleration. So average acceleration is making an angle 45 with negative direction of x-axis. This is the direction of average acceleration. so this is the way to explain average acceleration acceleration of a particle is affiliated to a continuous condition and average acceleration means if a particle makes some changes in its velocity or lagatar pure track mein iski velocity change hoti ja rahi hai aur aapse ek duration de kar ke ye pucha ja raha hai ki is duration ka average acceleration kya hai so it will be final velocity minus initial velocity divided by total time taken on solving this will be j minus i and in modulus form it is root 2 meter per second square root 2 meter per second square is the numerical value of average acceleration and its direction is 45 degree from the negative direction of x axis it is 45 degree from negative direction of x axis and its magnitude is root 2 meter per second square so this is average acceleration of the particle like example say is baat ko aur clear kare suppose a particle is moving in a track in which its position is connected to time by this equation suppose this is the relation between position and time and our question is to find the acceleration of the particle at 2 seconds at 2 seconds then differentiate this equation you will get dx by dt as 3t square plus 2t plus 1 and differentiation of 1 is 0 that of t is 1 t square is 2t t cube is 3t square again differentiate with respect to time d square x by dt square will be 6t plus 2 The differentiation of one is zero again. It is a constant. Sixty plus two is the acceleration of the particle. We know that dx by dt is velocity, and d square x by dt square is acceleration. So acceleration, numerical magnitude of acceleration of the particle is sixty plus two. And our question is to calculate acceleration after two seconds. So acceleration after two seconds will be six into two plus two, and on solving it will be fourteen meter per second square. So average acceleration of the particle after two seconds will be fourteen meter per second square. This is instantaneous acceleration. This is instantaneous. Sorry, this is average and this is instantaneous. Now make a difference between these two. If a particle on a track has initial acceleration, initial velocity 10i is traveling, and at the final moment, its velocity is 10j. And you have to know how much duration it has been completed. This change. 
then average acceleration according to depression is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time t. So it is j minus i and on solving it is root 2 meter per second square numerically and direction is given by this L. This is average acceleration of the particle on the basis of this diagram. But this is the question in which our question is to calculate acceleration after 2 seconds exactly. So if we differentiate this twice, you will get a is 60 plus 2 and on taking t is equal to 2 seconds, it will be 14 meter per second square. So acceleration of particle is 14 meter per second square after 2 seconds. This is acceleration after 2 seconds and this is the acceleration of a particular instant after 2 seconds. So it is known as instantaneous acceleration. It is instantaneous acceleration and this is average acceleration. Average acceleration, instantaneous acceleration. So average acceleration is uh, one theme and instantaneous acceleration is the other theme and this is the topic for making a quick distinguishment between average and instantaneous. Average is based on the changes from initial to final and instantaneous is the word which is based on a particular.